Hey guys, welcome to another Theory of Computation tutorial. Today we'll be learning about operators of regular expression. So let's get started. So what are the different operators in regular expression? We have got three different operators in regular expression. First one is union operator. Then we have got concatenation and third one is closure operation. Okay, now we'll look at each of them in detail and we'll also solve an example or look at an example of these three operators. All right. Now first operator, as we know, is our union operator. All right. So the union of two languages L and M are denoted like this. We have got L union M. Okay. Now it is set of strings that are either part of language L or language M or both. Okay. So let's look at an example. Let's say we have got our language L equal to 001,10,111. So this is our language L and then we have got language M. It has empty uh, that is epsilon and then you have got your 0, 0, 001. Now, how do you do union operation or how do you use union operator? So let's say we've got these two languages over here, L and M. What we have to do is we have to create a set of string that are either part of language L or language M. So let's start with the L U M. It is a set. So let's open the set. Now it should be a set of strings that are part of language L or M. So L will write 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 001 then one zero, then one 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 or language M. Okay. So we have got epsilon over here. So let's write that. And then we have got zero zero one. Okay. But zero zero one is already part of both these languages, right? So we already return it. So this is L union M. Okay. So you've got our epsilon over here. Then we've got zero zero one, which is common in both the languages. Then we have got one zero and one one one. So this is how we write union operations. Okay, now we can take another one. So let's say we have got language L equal to let's say 10110. Okay, and language M equal to 000010. Okay, so what is our L union M? L union M is going to be we have got 10, then 110, then 00, then we have got 0010. So this is how we do union operation. So over here in both these languages, there is nothing common. That's why all the strings that are part of both these strings, either L or M, we have got over here. Okay. In these two strings, we had 001, which was part of both these languages. That's why we return it only once. Okay. So I hope you got this union operation. Now the next one is concatenation operation. That is how do you use concatenation operator. So the concatenation operation on two languages, L and M, is a set of strings that can be formed by taking any string from language L and concatenating it with a string from language M. Now, what is the meaning of concatenation? So basically, the first we'll look at the representation. So we represent concatenation with a dot or we don't write any symbol at all. OK, for example, let's say we have got language L and we have got language M. Then if we can write it like this, L and M, we don't write any symbol over here or we can write it like this L dot M. Okay, so we have got two languages over here. In L, we have got 0, 0, 001, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. In language M, we have got epsilon and 0, 0, 1. So how do you do concatenation? Basically, what you're doing is you're combining the strings. That is, you're writing them one after the other like this. So first, we'll take all the strings of language L and concatenate them with epsilon. So how does that look? So we have got 0, 0, 1, and we concatenate with uh, the epsilon. So we'll get 0, 0, 1 only. Okay, then we have got one zero, you concatenate with epsilon, again you will get only one zero. Then you have got one one one, you do concatenation, you get one one one. Okay, now you take these three strings from language L and do the concatenation with zero zero one. So what do you get? You get zero zero one and zero zero one. So you write them like this zero zero one, zero zero one. That is this string followed by this string. Then we have got similarly one zero and zero zero one. So you write that like that one zero. And then you have got 0, 0, 001. So the string from language M. Then you have got 1, 1, 1, and then 0, 0, 001. So we perform concatenation 1, 1, 1, sorry. We have got 1, 1, 1, and then we have got 0, 0, 1. So 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So this is concatenation operation. I hope you understood the concept. Okay. Uh, you want to take another example? Let's try. Okay. Uh, let's just change the color. Let's say we'll use color green over here. Okay. So let's say we've got language X over here. Language X has uh, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay. And language Y, we have got 
0 1 and 0 0 0 okay now what is x dot y that is what is the concreteness of these two languages so we have this set over here first we'll start with 1 1 so we'll write 1 1 and then we perform concatenation with 0 1 so we get 1 1 0 1 then 1 1 uh, with uh, sorry then 1 0 0 and 0 1 so we write 1 0 0 with this so 0 1 next is we do it for the next uh, string in language y so we get 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 and then we have got 1 1 uh, 1 0 0 with 0 0 0 so 1 0 0 with 0 0 0 and then we close the set so this is the concatenation operation okay so i hope you got this concept also now the third operator is the closure operator so all right so the closure of a language l is represented like this l star okay we write l star now the closure represents the set of strings that can be formed by taking any string from language l and then concatenating it with all of them okay so for example we have got say l equal to 0 1 okay so we have got l equal to 0 1 uh, sorry 0 comma 1 this is the language we have got and how do you get l star that is l closure what you do is you take all the strings from uh, that can be formed using 0 and 1 so you have got 0 then 1 uh, okay you start first thing is you start with empty okay epsilon then uh, yeah empty and then you go for 0 1 then 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 and so on okay so this is l star that is you can form all the strings with 0 and 1 okay now similarly over here for l equal to 1 so let's say our language is l equal to 1 okay now what is l star l star is equal to you got your epsilon then 1 then 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 and so on okay so all the strings that can be formed using the uh, strings that are present over here in the language okay the closure means the set of strings that is formed by taking any string from language l and then concatenating it with all of them okay so this is that set so i hope you understood the concept of closure also so these are three main operations or operators that are present in our regular languages so if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you very much